Okay, manually adding a machine to NetInfo is much the same as automatically entering a machine in that the way it uh, manipulates NetInfo. So again, you want to make sure that you read um, the NetInfo setup guides to make sure you understand everything that is involved. Then it is a case again of launching host uh, manager. Then you simply go to host and then new and then you type in the name of the host and its IP address so let's give this, I don't know, uh, 172 do. And then you need the ethernet address now you can get the ethernet address um, a number of ways if you go to uh, open up a shell in the host machine, uh, sorry, in, in the client machine and edit this file the um, right there we are so the ethernet for address for this is 0c29 a3 dc to B. And then you go back to the NetInfo master and in or any NetInfo client with root, with root permission and you enter in the Ethernet address. Now usually Ethernet address is a naught 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 C but you get rid of the trailing naught so it's naught C 29 A3 DC 26 just double check that is all correct. Oh, it's 2B, sorry. That's what happens when you write things down without using candles. Okay, so, system owner, you can put anything in here that you want. It doesn't make any bit of difference to NetInfo. And the same thing with the system type. Let's put down the station color. Uh, net groups, if you have any net groups, you can add them here. If the machine's got any aliases, you can add them here as well. Then it simply save. Make sure the root domain is set. Make sure this hosts uh, this is hosts parent domain is set, um, and then OK. Okay, so once the client has booted up, it'll probably want you to Control C, or it might not even do anything, depending on 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 what NetInfo was set up for. Chances are, it'll probably go off looking for a automatic hosted uh, NetInfo um, configuration. Moan that there's no server configuration available, and ask you to press Control C. Or just see. Okay, so once you're in the host, um, the, the NetInfo plant, log in as root and go to um, Simple Network Starter. Okay. Now, normally you'll want to access shared network resources as a client. Um, so this is where things become interesting. So enter in the host name and the IP address now what host what IP address did I give this 172 network option uh, sorry network options the router you'll want to probably enter in the uh, router that you've got broadcast address you can leave as default netmask you can leave as this NIST, unless you're using this, don't bother setting this. So set this. This is not a server actually. So use network but don't show administrative data for now. Configure. And the machine will reboot. Okay, now it's network, uh, simple network starter, so you configure the host um, with the relevant IP address. You can then launch host manager, local, bind to network info server, uh, sorry, network net info server. Again, make sure everything is okay. Set, okay, okay, and it'll reboot again. And the reason why I'm doing, uh, you can just go straight into host in uh, host manager and set up net, um, the local stuff via um, 
the uh, local configuration option. But the reason why I do, I always do a simple network starter first is to reconfigure the NetInfo database. Um, I don't believe the host manager does that, it just modifies the existing NetInfo database. So if, you, if you're doing a brand new configuration or a complete reconfiguration of a machine to get it on NetInfo, um, chances are you'll probably want the NetInfo database to be rebuilt or at least uh, sanitized by Simple Network Starter, which is what that does. So now once OpenStep is rebooted, um, I should have access to uh, the NetInfo database. I should be able to log on as uh, me. I won't do that though because I don't want it to modify any of my uh, configuration files. But the even simpler test is to log in as root and if the NetInfo master exports any directories, then those directories should be available. So let's find out. Bingo! There we go. And there you are, you now have a machine that's been manually added to the NetInfo database.